So, got a couple things going on here. Now we're installing our brackets. So, needs cleaned up. It is very dirty. However, we had to stop to get a video here. Officially done after putting on the armor, so had to stop to get a video. All right, guys, so we got it on. We checked the lights, checked everything, make sure everything works good. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff that doesn't line up. There's gonna be a lot of stuff you're just gonna have to play with. Um, but at the end of the day, I love it. It really adds with our hood, just really makes it more aggressive. So I love it. I am very happy with the outcome. All right, guys, so we're about to install this kit. Let's show you guys the before. So there's the before. Let's show you guys the after. All right, so got this off. Wasn't too bad. Get these bolts off and it looks like we probably have to take this off which you pop the cap up and it looks like you thread the bolt out. Remember which side you put on and how you take it on and off. Um, and we'll continue. All right, so next step, we got that off. So this is actually a good time for those who like to take care of their vehicles. It's a good time to actually check over everything, make sure there's no rust. If there's any rust, spray some rust prevention solution um, on anything. Ours looks to be pretty good, except right here. So you guys can see just a little surface. So we're just gonna wipe that off little sandpaper and wipe that off a little bit, but it just, just surfaced, just started. So yeah, so far not too bad if you got the right tools. So you're gonna have these little rivets that are inside here. You guys see that? So you just kind of work yourself around it and then you keep pulling at that until it eventually breaks. So you just keep twisting at it, keep twisting the metal. You can bend this a little bit back and forth, just wiggle it a little bit, not enough that it flexes you know this piece too much so i will point out having a tool like this with a metal blade is going to be very crucial because if you're just working it the way i showed you the first time you can get it it's just going to take you probably hours so after all said and done get a tool um i did try it by hand on this side and it took just forever so just get a tool for cutting you're going to want to cut that out um so now we're just installing the brackets all right slowly the beast is getting armored up so guys, for this piece, um, you're gonna use these. So what you do is on the bottom here, you're gonna put it underneath and you can kind of see that it's like a triangle shape near the head. And when you put that in, you line it up that the triangle fits in. And then when you put the um, washer type bolt on and you thread it on, it actually tightens it because it's stuck up in between there. If you guys understand what I'm saying, but yeah, these are what you use for setting up this piece right here. So when it comes to these pieces, um, they're going to align up perfectly. If it doesn't, then you're either using the small end. So this is the wider end right here. This is a, a little smaller. Um, you can kind of tell it's a little hard to tell, but um, to, the best way to tell is this fade, you know, this bend is higher while this is more closer to center. Um, and if you have the wrong piece on, it's not going to be even up as well. So maybe you have the other side on. So just play with it. Um, take your time. If you guys are doing the headlights, I mean the um, lights, well, the direction pretty much stink. Um, <laughs> they don't even give you really much information. So uh, for what I gathered is you're going to put this piece, this bolt down inside there. So you're going to drop bit down in there we're going to use a pliers to do that so guys i apologize in the picture i showed you the bigger bolt dropping that down no that one's for the um bigger i mean the bigger washer the two small bolts are the ones that you drop down inside there and if you don't have a pliers uh the easiest way is line it flat like this tilt this at an angle so you can kind of set it like right there and then kind of let it fall right down in as you guys can see it falls inside uh, might take a couple times to get it lined up perfectly and then just kind of leave it at an angle uh, Do the same for the other side then put this bracket inside then thread this in 
but uh, pain in the butt the light design stupid but hey I can't have everything perfect and just like that so that's how it's gonna look and then you can make it really tight once you have this adjusted all right getting our lights the wires ran there's the armor um, so we still got to install the top piece that piece right there this is all solid steel I mean this is insane uh, it's it's definitely something that's for sure so we're just slowly getting it so just an update so the wire um, hangs down so you're gonna have that gap up here uh, let me show you guys um, one that's not installed yet so you're gonna see this gap right up in here that's gonna be facing down so your lights gonna be like that and the brackets gonna be down underneath so there's gonna be a lot of customization with this. Um, not, everything's not gonna fit perfectly. Um, you know, it's not 100% perfect lineup, no matter how you do it. So guys, if you guys have a problem with stuff lining up, which you probably will, it's a pain in the butt. Um, so what I did was, you know, like I said before, put a screwdriver in through the holes. Uh, this side, we were that far out and we could not budget at all. As you can see, we still got a gap here. What we're doing is we're pulling and applying pressure. This is allowing us to pull it closer to the body so we can get everything lined up. So we're almost lined up. So as, if you guys could see here, as we move it, we can adjust this better. All right, guys, so we got it on. We checked the lights, checked everything, make sure everything works good. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff that doesn't line up. There's gonna be a lot of stuff you're just gonna have to play with. Um, but at the end of the day, I love it. It really adds with our hood, just really makes it more aggressive. So I love it. I am very happy with the outcome. And we're done. Now, tomorrow, we just got to clean everything up for our car show. So the new armor is installed. And this thing looks so bad right now. It is so dirty. But the armor is installed. The lights are installed. I just need to run a switch into the Jeep so I can turn them on and off.